Hello again, everyone. This is the inspector back with you for another shave. I know it's been a while again. Things have happened and, you know, uh, we have to do what's necessary to, to get things done around the house and everywhere else. But um, we're back again. I'm glad you can join me. Um, thought about a lot about this video and what I was going to say and all that stuff. I usually don't think too much about it, but this one I had a little bit of time. So as you can see, it's uh, been six days since I've shaved. I don't normally let it go this long, but things happened and I didn't get a chance to do it. I wanted to do a video a couple of days ago and we got busy with other things. So me and my wife. So anyhow, um, this is it. Okay. Um, first, let me once again talk about a razor I'm going to use. And um, it's worth a second mentioning. For those of you who who missed my first couple of videos with it, um, back again is the Supply SE Razor. Now, this is important. I think, okay, this is just my opinion, the inspector's opinion, that this should be anyone going from a cart razor to who is new to traditional wet shaving. Okay, this should be your first razor. Why do I say that? Okay, and that's, that's a big statement coming from me. Better than a 34C, a Merker 34C, or whatever it is out there. Uh, what are the reasons for it? Well, first of all, it's built like a tank, okay? This, this thing will last your lifetime. Um, and while initially, this is $59, okay, versus a 35 for a, um, an Edwin Jagger or a Merker 34C, whatever. Um, it's worth the extra dollars, okay? It really is. I got a stand, and that costs a little bit more, and I like the stand. I think it's a good thing to do. Um, metal stand, it's really nice. It's um, uh, So I did that, okay? So that's a little bit extra. But aside from that, um, you uh, it's built like a tank. It's 59 bucks. okay? You get eight razor blades with it. Okay, so there you go. And they say you can get eight to ten shaves out of each blade. This is like my, my fourth or my fifth, and it's still going strong. Okay, thicker blade lasts longer than the DE blade, no doubt. Okay, spend the extra five bucks, guys, on this rubber sleeve. Comes in silver and black. I just had the black because that's what was available at the time. Um, helps your control, everything else. Nice heft on this thing. Has a 100-day money-back guarantee if you don't like it, which the others don't, okay? Um, other has these 16 fins here with this Nick, Step, Nick Stop technology, which makes it very safe on the face. I can go, go willy-nilly with this thing and still not cut myself. I mean, I haven't cut myself yet on it. Um, and um, that's important. It has a safety bar too. So the fins guide the hair in, blade cuts, and the safety bar prevents cuts. When you get cut is when the skin gets caught under the blade and that results in a cut. Well, this does, in my opinion, a really good job of feeling safe on the face and not, I haven't nicked myself yet with it. Not to say that I'll, I'll never do that, but um, it says by 75%. So I believe it, okay? Um, so there are the reasons why, and it's good heft, silky smooth, no learning curve on this thing. You just put it on your face and go, okay, no, um, oh, I have to find the angle and well, no, there's no, there's very little of that, if not any. So it, there's no real learning curve. Okay. That's the razor. That's my pitch. Why this should be anyone's first safety razor and or and hobbyists like me who have bought the razor okay so great investment you can pass this down to your kids whatever you want to do that's the razor okay what's next before we get shaving okay we're already almost five minutes in but that's okay i haven't done a video in a while and i have a lot to say um we're going with uh 
you know, God, I love tobacco. Okay. I love the scent and they have tobacco in all different forms. Okay. Um, and I have today, we're going to use the foam. Okay. You say, why inspector? Why the foam? Why not, you know, the cream or the soap? Well, this is a little different. I, I don't think many of you are aware of, um, that it does come in a foam, seven ounces, quite a lot in here. Okay. Last you a little, little while here. Um, I got it from small flower and small flower is, um, Merch apothecary in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. Has mostly everything to back that you want, which is great. It's if you want to back stuff, they chances are they have it. They may be sold out of a couple of things, but you can get it otherwhere. But small flower is one of those. They don't get mentioned a lot. Um, viewer Peter said, why doesn't, you know, small flower and, and other places, shape nation and so on and so forth. I know I'm missing everybody, a lot of people, but why don't they get mentioned? Well, they, a lot of people do buy from them. They just maybe not mention it, but um, tobacco, I have, um, tobacco craftsman, which is a really nice, spicy, little spicy scent. That's sort of, that's a newer type of scent. They carry that. They carry it in a lot of different forms of tobacco they carry. So a shout out to small flower. Okay. And the reason why, um, you know, some, some companies get, uh, mentioned more than others. Well, a lot of them like the razor company. Um, as Kim Gray pointed out in her comment to my last, one of my last videos is they do a lot for the shaving community. They've razor company has done a lot for her. Um, uh, HC and C, um, with Pete Hendricks done a lot for the community. So they, they get mentioned and rightly so. I mean, they put extra effort into, uh, customer service and doing extra things to help out people when they're in need. Okay. So that's my take on that. So anyhow, we got the foam and this is, has the exact same scent. Sometimes the scent doesn't match up to one, another product of the same line. And, but this does has great scent pops just like your regular, um, tobacco does, you know, it's just, um, it's also awesome and it's thick enough. It's rich enough, has decent slickness. So I've used it probably about four or five times before. Okay. And it's good for, if you don't want to lather up you're using a brush and say, it's, I know it's not traditional guys with the brush, but it, it does the, a good job. I mean, I'm the first one to admit it. You know, it's, it's your shave as CDB says and do it your way. Okay. So here we go. Um, first thing I want to do, I clean my face out. Like I always do with hot water and hot soapy water really, really well. Um, with hot water, of course, and just hydrating it. What I'll do is I'll re-wet it for about 30 seconds or less or whatever. And then we can apply the, um, the shaving foam and we can start shaving. Uh, I've been waiting all, all weekend to get this off. It's bugging me. Okay. So let's do this first, the water. Okay, so we did that. We'll shake our foam canister here. I'll put enough for initial two passes or so. You can always get more if you need to, but you don't need a ton. I'm, I'm not gonna put a huge layer on my face. Here we go, see it? That should be just about enough, okay? So we'll apply a, a layer here. Ah, oh, tobacco is great. 
when I get out of the shower, I'm going to put, um, I'll use a tobacco bath gel, which I got. And uh, I'll put some eau de cologne on, my big bottle of tobacco. I won't be smelling great, you know. And see, I have a decent amount left over. So, we got that. It's uh, 10 minutes in. I haven't shaved yet. So, but I'm glad, I'm happy that you stuck around for the shave. <laughs> All right. So, we'll take our Supply SE and we'll put it under water, hot water to get it heated up and shave. Okay, we can start. First pass with the grain, of course. And that just six days are gone right there. I 90% of it in the first pass is off, guys. It is off. Wow. Blade still plenty sharp. Not tugging. No, no nothing. All right, and this feels so solid in the hand. It's like the commercial says, like you're wiping away your your hair on this stuff okay decent slickness on the foam nice cushion i can tell feeling really safe on the face Just mowing it down in fine fashion. There's a ton of hair in my in my, um, in my sink here. It's quite remarkable. I usually don't let it go like this long, like I've said, but. When you have one or two days growth, it's just like a fine powder in your sink. And now it's like you've taken a little haircut, you know. Like I said, guys, just lay it on your face and go. That's it. I know some of you who were first watching this and haven't begun wet shaving. Um, this is easier than when I started. I can tell uh, using my Edwin Jagger. Because you don't have the fear of cutting yourself. You feel it face uh, right on the face, just really smooth. Uh, it's just very non-threatening, okay? Just like that, most of it's gone right there, okay? So we'll give this a rinse. Great first pass. Okay, we'll just apply a, a thin layer here. So they had the rest of this on. Oh, it smells great, it smells great. Okay. 
Heat up the blade and then um, second pass against the grain. This razor feels so solid, so solid. I was on the fence about this when it first came out because I tried the first, their first offering and I didn't like it as much, uh, nearly as much as this one. And uh, this feels a lot safer on the face, does just as good if not better job. And uh, they added the rubber sleeve, which gives me added control and so I don't feel like I'm dropping it or, and, you know, so it does its job. I'll put this extra here, give it a rinse, now we can really go against the grain up here, shaved my head this morning, and uh, I gotta mention guys, I, I backed, you, some, you might have seen this on my Facebook page of my post, I, I posted how I backed a high proof, is it the high proof razor? High proof razor, yeah. And on Kickstarter, and I found out about it through Ken Surfs because he did a video, he got a prototype, and it looked interesting with the magnets, how you secure the blade, and the, it seemed very easy and very good CNC machined aluminum. Um, and yeah, uh, pivoting head magnets used to, uh, pivot with the head. So, uh, there's less that can go wrong with it as mechanically. And it really looked like a good product. So, um, that should be coming in late November, early December. Uh, today is sort of like the kickoff day and where you get the best price where you can uh, pay 80 bucks and, and get the razor. I got, I put in 170, so I'm getting two razors. Plus, I think I get a, if I want to buy more, I get a discount or whatever it is, more of a discount. Um, but I did that because I felt that strongly about it. So which I don't usually do. I usually don't really do much Kickstarter stuff or anything like that, but I did. And, uh, so I don't, I don't buy a whole hell of a lot these days here and there. Um, I have another razor to review and I think I'll try to do that next week or my next video, whenever that is. And See if you guys like it and you can decide for yourself if you want to go for it, you know, and see how with this razor, you can make extra strokes. Like I'm crazy. I know my face is the way it is and I can take a lot, but, um, if you're more sensitive, this is this razor. That's another great thing about being a beginner, whether you're a pro or whatever, been at this for a while, no irritation, okay? Um, I don't get any irritation. I'm gonna put a little bit more foam on here, just a tad. Okay. To do my against the grain pass on my chin and, uh, Mustache area. I got extra blades. I got another eight pack of blades. So I got plenty.
Don't have to press down or anything with this. But the razor do the work. And you'll be good. Plenty of slickness with this, so it's good. I don't have to worry about the razor dragging or anything like that. That's good. And I'll do the mustache area, we'll be done. So I know I've said a lot, guys, a lot to take in, more than my usual video, I guess. Perfect. Uh, this also, if you're wondering, gets up under the nose pretty well. Sometimes with a big head of razor like this, you might think, well, may not get it really well, but it, it does a pretty good job of that. So, it goes right up there. All right, looks like we're done. We'll just um, rinse out the razor really well. Since you're leaving that blade in, you want to really rinse it well. Um, I'll do the face here, rinse it off. Results are fabulous. I mean, just, um, just nothing. No weepers, no. And I get weepers when I go real hard sometimes and I overdo it, but I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do, not making any strokes this way, or I'll just put it in my towel and just... Um, just give it a little pat. That's it. Okay. And in it goes to the, into, back into the stand. Okay. 
Now, uh, what's next? What's next is I'll take a shower. Okay, I'll dry off and um, then I'll put my tobacco, my big bottle of tobacco on and douse that. Maybe put some after bomb on. You can also get this at Small Flower too. You, uh, this is a little rare, the tobacco um, aftershave bomb. You can't get it everywhere, okay? Uh, I believe Small Flower does have that. It's a little expensive. I think it's like 12 or 13 bucks. The, uh, to mention the foam that we used, okay? Excellent. Great tobacco smell. Just strong as ever. Really good. This is about 12 bucks. You can get this a little cheaper other places, but um, a few bucks cheaper maybe. But um, anyhow, the results with the razor and the foam, they speak for themselves. That's almost a week's growth just gone. Okay, guys, uh, Supply SE I've talked about extensively and um, did a great job. Okay, we'll put that back. Um, so today is Columbus Day, Italian holiday. So being Italian, it works for me. Um, so uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And I will try to see you soon. I know this video has gotten a little bit long, but uh, there is a lot to do, a lot to discuss. And there will be other things to discuss at another time. Okay, so... Have a great day and take care of yourselves.